Have you, as of the last few years, been hearing the debates about men and women being equal and deserving the same things? If so, hold on to your seats because that is what I will be talking about in this video and share with you my own views being a relationship trainer and therapist. Hi and welcome. If this is your first time here, my name is Ernie Silovic and I'm a relationship trainer and therapist where I teach couples how to be masters in the art and science of love, romance, communication, fun, excitement, passion and emotional fulfillment. Alright, one of the big debates of the last few years has been about equality between the genders and each side has been arguing their own point of view. I'm here to tell you they are both correct and mistaken at the same time. What do I mean? I'm glad you asked. One example is that men say that men and women are not equal in the area of physical strength and use the example of men running faster than women. And with that, it is supposed to be an answer that men and women are not equal. Then women use the debate of them being unfairly paid in the area of sports and that men, as an overall, get paid more. And that is their argument for saying men and women are not equal and hence are treated differently and that women deserve the same amount of money in the sports arena. Before giving my answer to the above two points, I want to say this as a base and for the remainder of this video, which I anticipate will finally put an end to this debate. Men and women are equal, yet opposite. Regarding point one above, yes men may be more physically stronger than women, as a general rule or overall, yet women have higher pain thresholds. Regarding point two, there is something I learned in year seven in high school in one of my first commerce classes, and that is about supply and demand. Hence regarding about equality of pay, this will only ever eventuate if there is an equal amount of supply and demand. Every single price of every item is based on supply and demand. Pay is more often based on the value a person provides and the skill level they have to achieve a certain outcome rather than gender. So what I'm saying is that all these arguments people are having are half arguments. Men and women are opposites and nature designed it that way so that we complement each other and is why opposites attract. A few simple ones that most people know are that men think and women feel. Men wake up with an erection whereas women prefer to make love at night. Women and men use different sides of their brains and has been shown with CAT scans. Nature provided sperm and ovum to create babies. Nature has not created just black or just white. And then there are different shades and hues of black and white meaning there are differences between the same genders. Not all men are the same logically and not all women are the same emotionally. The reasoning for these differences is to bring about a balance. In our early history, for example, men hunted while women looked after the children. This has stayed the same for thousands of years to which still women breastfeed, men don't. Men die at younger ages than women. Women menstruate, men don't. Men can make children until their last day on the planet, women cannot. Using the black and white example mentioned above, there are also all the other colors in between. So there isn't only just two colors. Have you ever seen a black and or white rainbow? Both men and women need to stop focusing on what they don't have, what they are missing out on and can't do and focus on their strengths and what nature designed each gender for. How ridiculous is it due to sheer ignorance for the media to say that by 2030, half the female population in the United States will be single. There are men that are more emotional than physically strong and vice versa yet as a general rule and with this I mean more being greater than half we can generalize and make and see patterns. So in summary keeping this video short are men and women equal? Yes and also opposite. Physical strength has the same value as being a mother. Being logical has the same value as being emotional. I have never ever heard of a father say regarding any of his kids, I felt something was wrong, whereas a mother says that constantly. A mother will or often knows if her child is hurt with no communication between the two and thousands of miles apart. My own experience is I have such a strong connection with my wife and I am in Australia and she lives in Europe that we so often sense each other and know when we are thinking about each other and know what we are feeling without being in contact. We both have had this validated enough times to beat any doubt no matter what method of statistics one uses to try and prove or show otherwise. When I mention this to guys, the normal reaction is a blank stare. In other words, they have no idea what I'm talking about, whereas women know precisely what I mean. Clearly, nature has set it up this way that women can sense these things and men do not for reasons known or unknown to us. The connection between my wife and I is a prime example of how I am not the typical male because I seek connection with my wife. 
This just goes to show what I was saying before that not all shades of black or white are the same. With some knowledge, acceptance, love and self-respect, most if not all these debates wither away to the point of pointless. I trust I have helped anyone confused about who they are and what they are here for. Our identity is one of the strongest attachments humans have and in our adolescent years, we can go a bit crazy trying to figure that out and the good news is, for the vast majority of us, we come out of it just fine. Our understanding of what it means to be a man or a woman is slowly decaying in the Western world, be it by the government, schools, employers or whoever. This is where the parents' role takes over and can assist in instilling in our children a strong sense of self. This is also why it is difficult so often for people to leave religion, an MLM company, getting divorced and going from partner to single or losing a child where a parent can go from parent to. You know what I mean if this has happened to you. I trust you have enjoyed this video and to ensure you keep getting more great quality information. Click on one of the other videos at the end here or if you really want your relationship to move forwards in the most effective way, start going through your program, Awaken His Passion, A Course for Women or Awaken Her Passion, A Course for Men. I go into more detail with this information there. You receive a full 30 day money back guarantee and get to listen to two thirds of the course with online support in our undergraduate Facebook group to find out if it is a good fit for you so click on the link in the description box. I trust to see you in our undergraduate Facebook group.